Hi, my name is Chris Dornan and I'm a process engineer. In my 10 years of experience, I've designed systems, I've commissioned systems, and I've helped to start them up. Without doubt, one of the biggest issues is to get information from smart instruments to the design and through the control system. For example, we see a lot of plants that have multiple flow meters, and this is just one screen. You multiply four flow meters by 20 screens and by 10 areas, you have a nightmare on your hands. To address this issue, Rockwell Automation and Enders and Hauser have developed preferred integration and an innovative solution that reduces cost throughout engineering, commissioning, and startup. And because it's Ethernet IP, you can standardize to a proven communications protocol that is most likely your primary plant-wide control network. Let's take a look. I'm going to show you how to add and configure an Endris and Hauser Coriolis mass flow meter to a Rockwell Automation Plant PAX system. Before you start, you'll need to download and install the free add-on profile for Logix 5000 from the Endris and Hauser website. The website address is us.endris.com. From the main screen here, you can go to the search screen where you would just type in Ethernet. The first result is where we want to direct to and where we click on. From this page, we're just going to scroll down to the bottom where the executable files will be found. With a click and a save to the location of your choice, You'll just need to take that executable file to the station where Logix 5000 is installed. Make sure that Logix 5000 is not running before you run the executable file on that machine. Now let's get started. We can now open the Logix 5000 window where we can right click on Ethernet and select New Module. We have the option to search by vendor where we'll select Endris and Hauser. We'll choose the device we want. I have a ProMass 83 device for this demo, so I'll select that, and then we'll hit OK. Next, give the device a name and an IP address. You can get this IP address from the device itself. Make sure that the module definition is set to the latest revision, and change the connection radio button to IO data with config. After you accept those changes, additional tabs will pop up, which will allow us to completely configure the device. As you can see, the system is already displaying critical information for the operator, such as health status of the device. The user interface tab allows you to change what is shown on the device's display panel. Right now, the information line assignment reflects an operation or system condition. If I switch that to show mass flow, the display adjusts accordingly. You also have the ability to select the system units on this tab. For mass flow, you could go from pounds per minute to tons per second. You can also change the units for density, length, and temperature, among others. On the next tab, you can alter some system parameters such as the install direction or the alarm delay. Notice how the method for changing these parameters is easy to find and very intuitive. There are also three totalizers, one through three, that again, you can modify the mode on these, assign a unit volume and a unit mass. Next, you can change additional process parameters here. And finally, the Vendor tab illustrates where to go for more Enderson Hauser information. Not only does this add-on profile make it easy to configure the device, but it also exposes all of the device information available from that instrument to be used in your control strategies. For example, all of the input tags can be found under the name that you gave to the device earlier, as well as the output tags. Having this information is important not only for immediate control strategies, but also for OEE analysis and longer term total process management. Using this solution in a couple of mouse clicks, 
Your Endris and Hauser Ethernet IP enabled instrument is ready to provide critical information to your Plant PAX control system. But don't just take my word for it. One of our customers, a leading flooring manufacturer, told us that they used this solution to configure 27 flow meters in just three hours. That was a record for them. For more information on what you've seen here, contact your local Rockwell Automation or Anderson Hauser sales representative.